When installing software, it is important to keep the machine in a powered on state with data cables and white data disk plugged into the computer. Create a new folder on the C drive, which can be named DTF. If you have antivirus software on your computer, add the DTF folder as a trusted folder on the antivirus software. If you do not have antivirus software, the Win10 system comes with the Windows Security Center, and we need to add a trusted folder in the Windows Security Center. Select the DTF folder and add it as a trusted folder. Copy all the contents of the white USB drive directly to the trusted DTF folder. This is the folder that controls the printing software. If it is in the form of a compressed package, we need to unzip it and extract the folder inside. Send printing software to the desktop and create shortcuts. After the software installation is completed, we need to install Microsoft's Runtime Environment Library. Double-click to install and continue clicking on Next. After installing the Runtime Library, we click on Control Panel. Click on Network and Internet. Click on Network and Sharing Center. Click on the Ethernet icon, please watch carefully. The display here is 1 gigabyte, indicating that your computer has a gigabit network port that is sufficient to support machine input. If your computer only has a 100M network port output, then we need to use a network port converter to convert it into a gigabit input port. After using the network port converter, Please observe if it has been converted to 1 gigabyte. If it has been converted to 1 gigabyte, it indicates successful conversion. If it has not been converted to 1 gigabyte, please contact technical personnel. Special situation, if you have inserted two network cables and do not know how to distinguish which one is the printer data network port, then we can use this method to confirm. When we raw plug and unplug this network port data connection cable, Please note that the icon will change. The icon with the change is the printer's network port data connection port. Right click to open the printing software. Select the correct network cable access port and fill in the IP address. The IP address can be 192.168.127.1. If this icon turns green, it indicates that the machine and computer have successfully connected, as well as the software and IP address. Printer status prompt box, indicating that the machine is ready. Thank you for watching. See you next class.